Well, welcome back to another episode of the Hello C.S. Dorsey podcast. This episode, I'm getting vulnerable because I really didn't want to record this episode because I'm the type of person like, I really don't want to go back and think about the past. But I've also learned and understand that my past is my journey that can help others. Today I'm going to talk about what ultimately helped me make that decision to leave my line to five and how I can help you if you're thinking about leaving. What helped me is the lack of support, (laughs) the lack of support that I had, the overlooking my worth. So I was a supervisor at the time. I'm not saying any names. But for me, overall, it was the getting passed up for promotions and being told that I need to act like I wanted to be a manager. Well, I was actually managing team members in a department and doing all the manager things with all the manager problems, but yet I wasn't acting like I wanted to be a manager. Never was told what that looked like, ever. But when people have in their mind who they feel that they want to be in a certain spot or corporate has this stigma of what a manager should look like. And I didn't fit the description. I didn't fit the description of what their ideal bubble of what a manager should look like. I was people oriented. I cared about my people, how they were faring, how they was doing. Because if you don't have a healthy team, then you don't make no money. You don't have a department, you don't have a company. When you focus on people, then you can grow. And that was when I was asked, what do I feel is most important in being a manager or leader? I said, you got to have a strong foundation. You got to have your people and the right people in place in your department if you're in a leadership role, because they're the ones that's going to make the company run. They didn't like that answer. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a like a laughing tangent right now, but they didn't like that answer, and I was like, "It's the truth." For them, it was more like, "How can I put it?" Not systems. It was being innovative, and what can we do new to make sure that this looks good? It was the shiny stuff, and I was like. Okay, that's fine, but you got to have the people that's actually got to fix that shiny stuff or operate that shiny stuff that you're trying to do. That was the lack of focus. So I was like, okay, all right, whatever. (laughs) So getting passed up for promotions, told I wasn't acting like, you know, I didn't act like I want to be a manager, being overlooked in a department that I was running. And also I had to think about, is this really worth it? Is my energy and my time really worth it is constantly being harassed about oh ken is what it is that you want to do and i tell you what it is that i want to do but you overlook it and then you keep asking me and you keep giving me suggestions of other things that i should do other than the things that i told you that i wanted to do and wanted to become so yeah you do have to make a living yes you do but you don't have to put your health and your sanity at risk. And I'm a strong believer in that now. Time is something that you cannot get back. You will never get that time back. You will never get that time that, you know, your kids was in a play and you couldn't get off to go be there. You will never get that time back when you need to take your parents to the hospital because they're sick. You would never get that time back that a big project or you were busy or something was due and you missed out on those precious moments. Like your kids, or I don't have any kids, but 
I can I can talk from what I see and what I hear a lot like your kids is in daycare and say for instance your nine month old 10 month old or 11 month old child is in daycare and they're learning how to walk with someone else you never get that time back and that's why I made it a point I said when I get ready to have kids I want to be there I don't want to be at no job hustling for someone else making them rich I want to be there for my kids and I want to hustle for myself because time is precious it's it's flying I mean think about it right now the time that this episode goes out it's 2024 it's 2024 I was born in 1984 do not do the math to find out how old I am don't do that (laughs) but I was born in 1984 I grew up in the 90s I never fathom ever fathom being in 2024 ever and here we are and I look back and I'm like oh my goodness where did the time go so really really think about that so I want you to make a decision make a decision if you add a soul sucking job this episode is definitely for you. So make a decision. Decide on if you're going to leave, if you're going to do your own thing, have your own business, or if you're going to go to another company. Like they always say the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I've heard the saying you have to water where your grass is. But I truly believe that... Either way it go, you have to make sure that you're green. You have to make sure that you're happy. Doesn't matter what things around you may look like. You have to check yourself. So that's it for this episode. I really hope you sit and think about things. I really hope you think about where you are right now in your life your career, even in your business. Is your business sucking your soul? (laughs) You may want to pivot. But the beauty of it is, is it's your business and you can. You can do whatever you want to. Okay? All right. Hope this episode really helped you out. Let me know. You can send me a DM on Instagram or you just email me. I'll link everything up in the show notes below. And I want you to have a wonderful day and I really want you to sit and think about, think about your decision. What are you going to do? Until the next time, take care. Bye.